For today's video, we are going to talk about what is geometric means and we are going to find out how to find the geometric means of a given sequence. First, let us define what is geometric means. So when we say geometric means, are the terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. So in order for us to understand what is geometric means, we have to familiarize ourselves in the formula of geometric sequence. That is a sub n equals a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub n will be the last term, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, n is the number of terms, and r is the common ratio. So let's start and let's have an example. On number 1, we are going to find the geometric mean between 10 and 40. So let us write the given, that is 10, and we are going to insert one geometric mean, that is 10, blank, and 40. If you are going to find a geometric mean between two numbers, there are two solutions in order for us to find the geometric mean. First, you have to multiply the first and last term. 10 times 40. 10 times 40, that is 400. And then, get the square root of 400, that is 20. So therefore, the geometric mean between 10 and 40 is 20. Or, you can use the formula for geometric sequence, that is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1 where a sub 1 will be the first term, that is 10. a sub n is the last term, which is 40. Then n is the number of terms. So how many terms do we have? 1, 2, 3. So n is 3. So let us substitute the given to the formula. So we have 40 equals a sub n, that is 10, r, then the value of n is 3, that is 3 minus 1. Then let us write 40 equals 10, r, 3 minus 1 is 2. Then to find the value of r, simply divide the whole equation by 10. So r square is 40 divided by 10 is 4. Then, to eliminate the exponent, we are going to square both sides of the equation. So, r is 2. So, since the common ratio is 2, to find the geometric mean, simply multiply the first term to the common ratio. That is 10 multiplied by 2. That is 20. So, the geometric mean between 10 and 40 is 20. What about number 2? Find the geometric mean between 7 and 63. So let us write the given. That is 7 and then 63. So we are going to insert geometric mean between 7 and 63. So again, let us multiply 7 and 63. 7 times 63. 7 times 63 is 441. And then get the square root of 441. So that is 21. So the geometric mean between 7 and 63 is 21. Or you can use this formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Where a sub 1 will be the first term. That is 7. a sub n is 63 n is the number of terms that is 1 2 3 so we have three terms so let us substitute the value to the given formula so a sub n is 63 equals 7 times r raised to 3 minus 1 and then let us write 63 equals 7 times r 
3 minus 1 is 2. And then divide both sides by 7. So r square is 63 divided by 7 is 9. Then the square root of 9 is 3. Since the common ratio is 3, we simply multiply the first term to the common ratio. That is 21. So the geometric mean between 7 and 63 is 21. So let's have another example. Find three geometric means between 32 and 1 over 8. So first, let us write the given. That is 32 then we are going to insert three geometric means 1, 2, 3, and then 1 over 8. Now, in order for us to find three geometric means, let us identify the given, which is a sub n will be the last term, that is 1 over 8. a sub 1 will be the first term, that is 32. And then n, the number of terms, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is 5. And let us write the formula for geometric sequence. That is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So a sub n will be the last term, which is 1 over 8. Equals a sub 1, that is 32. r the value of n is 5, so 5 minus 1. And then we have 1 over 8 equals 32. R, 5 minus 1 is 4. So to find the value of common ratio, we are going to divide the whole equation by 32. So cancel. So R raised to 4 equals... If you are going to divide 1 over 8 divided by 32, you simply multiply 8 and 32. So that's 1 over 8 times 32 is 256. And then, to eliminate the exponent, we are going to extract both roots of the equation. So we are going to find the fourth root of 1 over 256. So we're going to cancel this one. So R is 4th root of 1, that is 1, over 4th root of 256, that is 4. That is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 256. So this will be the common ratio. Now, to find the next 3 terms or 3 geometric means between 32 and 1 over 8, we simply multiply the common ratio to the first term. 32 times 1 fourth. 32 times 1 is thir um, one, 32 divided by 4. That is 8. So 8 is the next term. Then 8 times 1 fourth. That is 2. Then 2 times 1 fourth. That is 1 half. So these are the next, or these are the three geometric means between 32 and 1 over 8. That is 8, 2, and 1 over 2. So let's have another example. What about number 4? Insert 5 geometric means between negative 12 and negative 3 over 16. So let us write negative 12. And then we are going to insert 5 geometric means. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 3 over 16. Now, we are going to use the formula for geometric sequence, which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the last term that is negative 3 over 16. a sub 1 is negative 12 and then n is the number of terms that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that is 7 and then 
let us substitute this given to the formula. So a sub n, that is negative 3 over 16. And then a sub 1, that is negative 12. r raised to n minus 1, that is 7 minus 1. Then we have negative 3 over 16 equals negative 12. r raised to 6, 7 minus 1 is 6. Then to eliminate, to eliminate this coefficient, we are going to divide the whole equation by negative 12. So r raised to 6 equals negative 3 over 16 divided by negative 12. So what is the rule in dividing fraction to whole number? So you, so you just simply multiply the whole number and the denominator. So negative 3 times 16 times negative 12. Since we can simplify negative 3 and negative 12, that is 1 over 16 times 4. Because 3 and 12 are divisible by 3. The greatest common factor is 3. So we simplify as 1 over 4. And then negative divided by negative is positive. That's why we have positive 1 over 16 times 4. And then the common ratio, or r raised to 6, is 1 over 16 times 4 is 64. And then get the 6 root of 1 over 64. So therefore, 6 root of 1 is 1 over 6 root of 64, that is 2. That means we are going to multiply 2 6 times to itself. So the common ratio is 1. That is negative 12 times 1 half. That is negative 6. Then negative 6 times 1 half. That is negative 3. Negative 3 times 1 half. That is negative 3 over 2. Then negative 3 over 2 times 1 half that is negative 3 over 4 and then negative 3 over 4 times 1 half that is negative 3 over 8 then to check your answer negative 3 over 8 times 1 half that is negative 3 over 16 so therefore the five geometric means between 12 and negative, negative 12 and negative 3 over 16 are negative 6, negative 3, negative 3 over 2, negative 3 4, and negative 3 over 8. So that will be our answer. What about number 5? If the third term of geometric sequence is 9 and the sixth term is negative 243, write the first six terms of the sequence. In order for us to write the first six terms of the sequence, let us write first the given. So since we don't have a first term, so we're going to have blank, blank, and then the third term is 9, and then blank, blank, and the sixth term is negative 243. Now, let us use the formula for geometric sequence that is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Then, let us identify the given. So, a sub n, that is the last term, that is negative 243. Then, a sub 1, since we don't have an a sub 1, we are going to use 9 as our a sub 1. But, the value of n will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, our a sub n is negative 243, a sub 1 is is 9, n is 4. Now, let us substitute this given to our formula. a sub n, that is negative 243, equals a sub 1, that is 9, and then r raised to 4, so we have 4 minus 1. And then, 
let us write negative 243 equals 9 times r raised to 4 minus 1 is 3. Then to find the value of the common ratio, let us divide the equation by 9. So we're going to have r cubed equals negative 243 divided by 9. That is negative 27. Now, let us eliminate the exponent by squaring both sides of the equation. So cancel. So r, the cube root of negative 27, that is negative 3. So ratio is neg our, our ratio is negative 3. If you are going to multiply negative 3, 3, 3 times to itself, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, we have negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. So therefore, the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. Since we all know what is the common ratio, let us find now the first six terms of the sequence. Since the third term is 9, let us multiply the third term to the common ratio. 9 multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 27. So the fourth term is negative 27. Then, negative 27 times negative 3, that is 81. So the fifth term is 81. To check your answer if it is correct, 81 times negative 3, that is negative 243. What about the first two terms? If you are going to find the first two terms using the third term, you simply divide 9 divide by negative 3, the common ratio, that is negative 3. So the second term is negative 3. Then negative 3 divide by the common ratio, that is 1. So the first six terms of the sequence is 1, negative 3, 9, 27, 81, and negative 243. So I hope you learn from this video. See you again next time. Thank you so much.